What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Put It On The Table. To my right, I have T. Jones. I got D. He go low to my left. And of course, I'm Barbie. Today we're going to talk about a kind of versatile type of topics. But the first topic we're going to talk about is females <coughs> with multiple baby daddies. And then when they get with the next man, they expect him to try to take over. So, uh, Lo, what's your perspective on that? Wow, wow. So I get a chance to open up the table. Huh? <laughs> open up the table. Well, honestly, it's, I don't know. I, I guess I guess in order for us to have a, a real organic conversation, I mean, there's going to be several layers, I guess, to this conversation. But I think as we get older and we start experiencing life more and more, I see so many, and we were talking about this a little bit before we even started, Colin, this blended family situation. And, it's, and I love the fact, right, of, of a blended family. I, I think it's, it's great for, for from a society perspective when you see individuals who take on responsibility. But I think the other side of that is when the expectation is set on someone to come in and, and be responsible for children that aren't theirs. And, and now let me let me drill break that down a little bit more before I get cussed out by everybody <laughs> out here. Listen, you as long as as we come to you know terms in regards to what this relationship is going to look like and and both parties can agree on what this is going to look like then i don't see a problem but sometimes you can walk into a situation you're not aware of everything that's going on you're not aware with all the parties uh that's involved several the layers the layers right yeah, several yeah. baby daddies it is yeah, what it yeah, is yeah and so you got to deal with all of this and and sometimes people just aren't up front you know um is is he in a situation is he and and if he is or not that's fine but be honest about yeah. everything you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah. and for me you know i've seen the situation i don't know countless of times but you know i've never really i can say been in it myself so i don't know you know, if I can add the, the best expertise, I know as we were talking before, I know Colin, you know, you said you were in that situation. Yeah, I, I've, had the, I've had the blended family, and um, I, you, you said something that struck a nerve, starting from the beginning, the honesty part. And when right. you start from the beginning of the honesty part, if we be honest with ourselves, the beginning of the relationship is a fairy tale. Okay. Out the gate. Okay. okay. So everybody's putting on their best face. Right, right. You know, right. the kids putting on their best face because they want, you know, for all intents and purposes, most kids want their mom to be happy. Right. If this the guy, this the dude, you know, he's coming around, shows my mom some respect, and then life happens. Okay. Reality. Right. Okay. Discipline. Yeah. Schoolwork. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Respect. Yeah. And there is some dysfunction. You know, I, I don't apologize for having a father and a grandfather. Okay. You know, and I still made mistakes. So I I tr I cringe sometimes when I think about young people that don't have a father. I can't even imagine an 18, 19, 21, 22 year old young man that had no true guidance. Right. No, right. Right. And then Uncle Uncle Joe ain't Uncle Joe no more. Okay. okay. He ain't Uncle Joe can Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Right, 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 right. right. She got them walking around with 15 uncles walking around the street, which ain't cool either. Everybody uncle that stopped by the house, that's a whole nother topic right there. Society has dictated so much with that family structure, they have taken away. Wow. We, we, we spoke about that. Yeah. You right. know, the family values and, and, and the core values of, of, of who we are and what we're supposed to do. Um, Colin spoke of he, he doesn't apologize for having a father and a grandfather. Mm -hmm. Well, I had a grandfather, but I also had a stepdad who took care of six kids that wasn't his. Right. And I thought he was King Kong. Right. You know, uh, he functioned every day as an alcoholic. Okay. But he went to work, okay. he paid the bills. We, we never saw a hungry day. <laughs> There's a running joke in my family about me and my brothers going, I don't know if y'all remember B.R. Baker's back in Shaker, uh, up on Chagrin. And uh, he wanted us to be church going young men. Okay. And I was following whatever my brothers were doing because I was the runt. Okay. We were buying clothes and he said, Look at y'all. 
I'm, I'm trying to make y'all church room boys, and y'all want to dress like a bunch of <laughs> <laughs> explicit. I ain't going to say that. Right. But, okay. but the, the core value of that. But then as I became an adult, and the discipline was done by my mom. It okay. wasn't done by him. Okay. But before then, I do remember my dad being a disciplinarian. Okay. But here you go, and you, t you take on responsibilities of, of other folk, children. Yeah, yeah, and 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 that conversation needs to be had. What's the expectation? Right. And exactly. when you have those conversations, those honest conversations, uh, and 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 it comes being a parent. There's there's no no book, but there is a book. Okay. And you just going off of the, what's on the top of your head and trying to do the best you can. Do we make mistakes? Yes. I made a ton of them. Right. Right. And but I, I I'm always willing to put myself on the table. Okay. And on the line for mine. Right. And if you if you're doing right, it's gonna be all right. Yeah. I, I was telling somebody one day, um, the most thing I love about my mom, especially today, when I think about the many lessons she taught me, I got in trouble in junior high, and I really didn't do it. Okay. And um, I was I was so so the story says. I know I, I, I didn't do it. The kid in front of me do it. Okay. He did it. Okay. And me and him were known class clowns. Okay. And I went home and I said, Ma, I didn't do it. And uh, I said, you know, by now, I would have said I, I did this. Right, right. And she said, you know what, Terry? I believe you didn't do it. Okay. But I'm going to whoop your behind for something you did do and didn't get caught. And I said, ain't this nothing. Let's <laughs> all get it up with. <laughs> but then I said, well, so-and-so's mother would, do something, would, would have taken up for him okay. if he didn't do it. And she said, this is the most honest thing that ever, that ever shocked me about about parenthood. My mom said to me, she said, just because you're my child don't make you right. Okay. Oh, that's, that's 100%. Yeah. And yeah. I went upstairs and did my homework after that. Okay. Okay. Because wow. it, it, it blew my mind. Yeah. So just because I'm your father don't okay. make you right. Okay. And, right. and in, yeah. the, in those situations, we got to start having these conversations with these young women or these women we get involved with, with these multiple children. And then we got to even take that step further. That's but that's the that's that's the break right there. Do you get involved with these women with multiple children in the first place? With mu with multiple children, they got multiple fathers. Do you, what's what's the as there's a male as a man a coming out? Now this this ain't gonna be popular. This is a red flag. There. This this ain't gonna be popular. But if you get into a situation where you meet a female, okay, she got five kids, okay, and five baby daddies, okay, what's the benefit of you even stepping into that situation in the first place? What are you getting out of that situation? Oh, but nothing but trouble. Because you got five kids, five different daddies, five different whoever, maybe they're not there that you got to deal with. Those situations, disciplinary situations, everything else. So it's an unpopular, it's an unpopular way of thinking because females just think we're supposed to step in and take care. If we want to be with them, we got to take care of them and every problem that they come with. What's the new thing that's going on on, on, uh, on the internet when the guy brings his child McDonald's and the girls like, well, what about my other kids? That I seen that. One. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. What, what y'all think about that? Well, see, see again, <laughs> see again. Well, you know what? I want to go down a rabbit hole. Okay. And back to the solution. Okay. Let's say we come across this beautiful, voluptuous woman. You know, we find her attractive, and then as we talk to her, we find out she has multiple children. Uh, or multiple uh, baby fathers or two or three or whatever the case may be. We cannot go down that rabbit hole and deal with her. But once we become an associate, a friend, I think we, be, we should become a little bit more responsible about trying to have a real conversation with her. Okay. And okay. trying to see how did she get there. I mean, I, women are filled with love, so we, we, we got to keep them. Yeah, but you can't fix nobody either, though. Well, when I mean, well, you're right, you're right. But what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about, fix is like, how are you making these choices, honey? Why right. are you making? Cause see, obviously, ain't no big mom in the house. You know, True. obviously, they ain't had nobody that set them, set them down, and tell them to protect their bodies and things of that nature. You know, you know. And don't again, be, don't be a. a I'm about to a breeding meal for babies. Yeah. So, I'm just being real. That's yeah. just keeping on it. Oh, I, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna interject there. There was a young lady in my life, and I used the Muhammad Ali metaphor about the pearl deep deep in the sea, and how do you get the information 
uh, to, to get a diamond and this, that, and the other. When Muhammad Ali told his daughter Hannah, she came in the house dressed provocatively. Okay. And she, he was saying to her, you're too easy access to a man. Okay. And I was trying to explain this to to, to someone in, 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 that was close to me. Okay. And the, the, the mother said, okay. you ain't no Muslim. Okay. And I, I was like, <laughs> yeah. And I was like, dude, this is this is this is your child. I'm trying to tell her, right, right. If you put yourself out there like that, they're gonna treat you like that. Right. But right. if you present yourself as a lady, okay. you be treated as a lady. So therefore, when we going back to these women with these five baby daddies, how do we how do we say, hey, sister, it's it's time to be a lady. So, so what were you about to say? So, so it, it's it's interesting that we I don't know how we got to this number five. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know how we got to that number, but but you're right. I mean, you can't fix someone, right? Because that should never be our intent. If if you if you're at a place in life where you're really to have a real relationship, right? You can't go in with the intent that I'm about to change someone because who I met, you know. I'm the attractor, there had to be some kind of attraction there, right? Whether it was physical, mental, spiritual in some cases, right? Yeah. yeah. So you, you build off of that, but I think we got to go further back than that, y'all. We got to go to where are you, you know what I'm saying? And what's your intent when you go into a relationship, right? Too. See, some guys, they go into a relationship, they see multiple, you know, children. That their first, what's their first mind? Oh, well, she's giving it up, so it's available, right? Mm -hmm. That's what they're thinking. So, mm -hmm. so that becomes step number one. What, what's your intent? You know, for me, you know, I've been a mentor. Eric, we've mentored, you know, yeah. young men before. Yeah. So, so we're used to being in situations where, Hey, there's a family going on. There's no dad in the house, right? And 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 mom has asked, you know, someone from the church or someone from the community to come in and play a role. Here, you know, we do it all the time, right? It's it's all about that intent. But see, I think before relationships can even manifest, there got to be some teaching in the house. Mm. Got to be some teaching in the mm. house. We've gotten away from teaching and setting expectations. You all. I, I grew up in the hood. Y'all know I we 130 we first all day, all day, yeah, 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 all day yeah, yeah. right? All day. And and so by the grace of God, man, my mom and my dad instilled some things in me that will never leave me. My mom went home to be with the Lord last year, and the things that she taught me as a young boy will never go anywhere. So first of all, I can't disrespect women. Now I ain't gonna say I've always did the right thing. I'm not gonna sit and act like I'm a saint. I've done some yeah, dumb yeah. shit in my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean that just is what it, it is. It is what it is. But at the end of the day. No one can say, you know, he disrespected me, he did this, he did that. Um, I think as we grow, we just start making better decisions. Better decisions. We start making we better, decisions. better decisions. We should. We should. We should. Right? We should. And so going back to that, man, I, I, I tell every brother, listen, whatever relationship you get into, understand the intent, be honest, and be integral. Those are the only things you could do. So, so you, when we said that we, we can't change someone, but can we can we can we lead them in a different direction that begins to they can begin to seek change for themselves and in, 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 in order we start to treat them in a different manner than they've been treated those with multiple uh, but children. The, that's the whole thing though is that is you, when you meet somebody are you looking at them with the ideology or the mindset that this is somebody I know what the situation is. Are you going in? Let's just keep it, keep it a buck. Put it on the table, keep it in the buck. Are you meeting with them because you'll say, okay, she's promiscuous. She got four kids. So I know she out here giving it away. Mm -hmm. Are you going in with the intent just to hit? Or are you going in with the intent that, hey, this is somebody who I know she got four kids and four baby daddies, but this is somebody that I want to bring into my life and, you know, you know I'm serious. Keep are it you, are and you, then, are you, and then are you even, deep, to, even to on a deeper that. level, but even on a deeper level, being the age that we are, we done saw everything that we done seen. How would you advise your son to proceed? Would you let your son walk into that situation? Hell no. <laughs> Just hell no. That's what I'm saying. If we be honest, we're going to say, hell no. That's okay. what I'm saying. So well, are you going to, if, if you've seen your son walk into a situation like that and you know this woman out here doing this, that, and the other, you see, she, I mean, because we can read. We done all, we done seen it. We done seen it at our age. So, you know, we, we, we know we can see it coming a mile away. We can see the train wreck about to happen. You know what I'm saying? So, but here's the thing. We're 50, I'm 54. 
So there are some things that I'll do at 54 that I won't do at 54 that I would have did at 24. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, Absolutely. so I think at the end of the day, it's all about that maturation. And so I don't have any sons, right? I have all daughters. Um, God definitely has a sense of humor, right? Uh, so, but if I had a son, I don't. I, I would say, son, make sure you understand what you're getting into, because I would never I'm say. I'm not doing that. I would do okay. I'm not doing okay, it. okay. I'm not doing but, it. So let me finish. Let, let, let me finish. Let me finish. I meet my father and grandfather. I got a bone to pick with him. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But but here's my thing though, Kyle. You who who could they miss out on the opportunity of loving, possibly even rearing? You know what I'm saying? Because of the situation. Sure. sure. We don't know. Maybe our son has something that we poured into him. That's going to be the only way to help these four kids. Okay. You know what so I'm so keeping it. On the table. Put it on the table. Okay. <laughs> Keep it in a buck. Okay. I'm a numbers guy. Okay. And the numbers don't lie. Okay. If Americans are at 55, 60% divorce rate, okay. Afro American uh, relationships, marriage, uh, divorce rate is at almost 65 or 70%. Okay. So I'm going to fall on side of the numbers. Okay. And so. With that being said, with my sons, I had three boys, three girls, uh, uh, three biological, three bonus children. I never called them stepchildren. So there is something to doing it the right way. Okay. I would rather for my son okay. to meet a woman with no children and build a family, whether it pass or fail. Okay. He's still gonna have. He still is gonna be nurtured enough to know that he's gonna have to stay in this child's life. Okay. He's gonna have to respect this woman. He's gonna have to respect this woman's new dude, whoever mm -hmm. he may be, as okay. long as he's a dude that can be okay. respected. Okay. Or respectable. So, the blended family next to single parenthood is the hardest job on the planet because of the. What do you call it? What do you call the representative? Okay. okay. We meet the representative when we date. Mm -hmm. I told a girl one time, I said, girl, you are nice. You fine. This is a beautiful, I, you know, I just want to keep it right here. I, I just want the representative. And she's like, you don't want to get the chance to know the real me? No, uh -uh. <laughs> uh-uh. I like this girl. I like this girl. She dressed up. Okay. She got her makeup tight. She got her hair tight. She, she's polite. She's pretty. She's nice. And that's not that's not reality, because the representative is eventually going to fade away. So then we have to ask ourselves in that same situation: Are are we representatives, or do we come to the table? Oh for yeah. Buck? Oh no. You know no, what I'm saying? No, we don't come to the table. No, I, I I I I had the school hard knocks hit me, bro. Okay. I mean it 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 it, it, it won't me out. Okay. Unpack it, that for me, brother. It, it, it won't me out. It won't me out to 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 the point that I am the man I am today. Okay. I don't believe in certain things, you know. Uh, uh, you know, my name itself, T. Jones. Mm -hmm. We we we've discussed this many a day. I was hell on wheels, and sometimes I still am. Okay. okay. But I have to remind myself: Do I want to go back there? Okay. Okay. You know. Okay. Do, do I want to? Do I want to revisit certain things? Okay. You know. Uh, we say put it on the table. I put those things on the table. Hey, okay. you're gonna be number five. Okay. You number you number so and so. Okay. You know this this is this is my life because this is this is where I'm from. This is this is this is what I this is what I do. But those honesty sometimes you get those. Oh, I'm gonna change him. Mm. I'm gonna make him. And is that our mindset as men when we see a woman with five kids or two kids or three or multiples or how we? Oh, oh, I'm gonna change this. Okay. So it's, it's the change comes about through my mindset, not mm. someone else's. Okay. And that's the most important part. You have to recognize you for who you are. Okay. And what you want. What are your values? Okay. What are your core values? And then I had to go back to that. When my, I told you when my, what my mom did. Okay. And when okay. my mom, when I turned around one day and I looked at her and I said, I got it. Okay. She said, you got it? I mm -hmm. said, I got it, mom. Okay. I said, you, we cool now. So, okay. so is that mindset you're saying going into the, the willingness to say, I'm walking in the door, so whatever happens, happens, and I'm willing to accept what's going on? I, I don't because mean, because that, that's what it is. Because you, if, well, you well, if you're walking into that situation, you're saying to yourself, come hella high water, 
This is what I'm going. I know what I'm getting into. This is what I'm going to. This is what I'm going to accept. But but because you are asking for. Let's it. say you do. Let's say you do that. But productive change comes with love, plain and simple. Okay. That lady has to see that you love and 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 loving a, a woman's loving somebody else's child is not letting them do whatever the heck they feel like doing. Okay. Okay. And, and that's that's the problem, because I say it again. Because we did it out of order, because we had children out of wedlock, some of us. Mm. And when you have children out of wedlock and you don't do things the right way, it's supposed to happen. I used to tell my ex-wife, I used to say, she used to get so upset about we, we going to McDonald's and we, 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 get, uh, we, we go through the drive through and we, we pull off and the order's all wrong. The order's supposed to be wrong. We at McDonald's. <laughs> You're supposed to check the bag. <laughs> oh, great, man. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I, okay. Um, <laughs> You're definitely supposed to check the bag. Check the bag. So, but but then, y'all, let's, let's, you know, I always like to just unpack the layers. Colin, you brought that up. And so, I think a lot of y'all, it goes back to intent, um, you know, honesty, truthfulness, I mean, there's, I think one of the questions too becomes, when should you talk about, you know what I'm saying, what's going on in your household? You know what I'm saying? I mean, because some brothers will say, well, man, I met her and she ain't even tell me, you know, she had children and, and, and all of this and that. You know what I'm saying? And so, I mean. Well, you know what? We have deficiencies. Okay. And we hide our deficiencies. Okay. Okay. And to the right moment give you an example I dated this girl one time and you know just being a brother she told me he was this big i'm like get out of here girl shut up ain't nobody ain't no man she said he was this big okay <laughs> but what he did he whined and dined her never touched her slept on the couch okay 60 90 days he made her, he made, because of his deficiency, he made her love him. Okay. So when he whipped it out, mm -hmm. it didn't matter. Okay. Okay. So I think we, a lot of us hide our deficiencies and then. It didn't matter that night, but I'm sure it mattered a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> that's, another, that's another time. You write that down. Uh, wow. But, yeah. <laughs> no, so, so I agree, Colin, we do. We, I, don't, I think we all go in with a mask on. Right? Yeah. Mask on, mask off. We go in with a mask on and we try, right? We try to be the best representation of who we are. You know what I'm saying? Depending on your intent in the relationship, right? If you're going in with the mindset, I'm just going to smash that, then, you know, you're going to be whatever this female, you know Needs what she's looking right for, then, right? right? My, 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 my thing is this, and, and, and I, I, I live my life this way. I don't want to know the greatest thing you've done. Give me the just of who you are. Okay. Tell me the five. I want to know that. Okay. My my two best friends. Okay. This is one of them. Okay. And another one's a female. Okay. Hey, T. Jones. Mm -hmm. What you doing, man? Okay. That hey, they give me. They tell me the truth because that's what my mama did for me. Okay. And when 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 I get that, I'm straight. I'm like, yo, bruh. But do you need that from somebody you just looking to smash or no, somebody no, no, got no. intent on being I, with? The, the days of smashing with me, okay. I'm done, bro. Okay, okay. okay. I'm, I'm done. But that's what I'm saying. It goes I, back to a ten. I, I, you, yeah. you know, it's if, if I knew, that, let's, let's you, retable that. <laughs> if I, if I knew, if I knew now, <laughs> if I knew then when I know now, it'd be a whole different ball game. A whole different ball game. I, man, <laughs> it's so much. This subject is wild, <laughs> and we could we could go here for forever. Okay. But my my intent back then okay. was just to smash. Just to smash. Hey, I I remember now we talking about taking somebody to dinner. I remember I took this girl to dinner and then she, on the way home she said, I need to stop getting my kids something to eat. Okay. Okay. She was sitting in the car looking at me. Okay. What? How many kids you got? And then when she told me, I was like, Oh, oh okay. Okay. All right. Bet. Did, that, did that determine where they was going to get That determined where the food came from. Okay, Popeyes where the stop, where the stop so was. I, I went on here and got the Popeyes. And, and, and how did, wait, how did you Popeyes. know Popeyes? I, oh, I went on and got the Popeyes. Okay. okay. Got to the crib, walked into the door. Okay. 
looked at the kids and said, hey, 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 little Johnny, hey, 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 Sarah, whatever, whatever. Okay. Hey, shorty, peace. Well, and that, you know why you just said that, too? That bitch. Yeah, that was a white yeah. one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right. That, that's the other thing, even going into the I was in the hood, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, can, we, can, we, can, we can touch the table with that too. Like, when is it when is it appropriate, appropriate. to even get introduced to the kids, to even meet exactly. the kids? Exactly. I yeah. mean, for real, for real. So like That's I, when people start vibing. When we start vibing, right. we think when we start vibing, instead of her sitting down and saying, you know what, Johnny you know, he's uh, a little restless. Uh, my daughter, she's a little standoffish. You know, we mm. need to approach this. You know, well, let's, let me, let's back up for one second. Okay. And I'm real passionate about this. I know that's not going to happen because I've seen the numbers. Children don't ask to come here. True. We should be mature enough until they get 18 out the house and stay together. When people say... Well, you know what? Um, uh, they, uh, they, they shouldn't feel that in the household or and mom and dad not getting along. Fake it. I don't know. Let me tell you why. Let me, let me, let me tell, tell you why you got to fake it. Because we become so selfish that we turn around and say, well, guess what, Johnny? You're going to have a bedroom over daddy's house. And you're going to have a bedroom over mommy's house. And we still going to get along. Man, so every time I pick my son up, I don't have time to... I don't want to discipline him. I got to spend that time to embrace him because uh, you got child support. Now we work in two, three jobs mm -hmm. just to maintain. And I want to spend that time. So now we spend that time trying to give him advice. And now the kid's like, come on, man, just take me to the IX Center. Yeah. You know, take yeah. me somewhere fun or something. You know, when we, but see, when you in that household, you're giving lessons every day. He right. talked about the lessons his mom gives him mm -hmm. because his mom was because he was in a household. Right. And I, I I'm just really passionate about that's the fact different. that it's not going to happen. But I, I but I get, I get what you're saying. But I think putting putting kids and leaving kids in a toxic situation. We supposed to be mature enough not to let them see that it's toxic. Ah, that ain't going to happen. You know, why? you know why? You know why? Because it's selfish. It's selfish. That, that, true it's that. Selfish. It just ain't gonna happen. I know that's gonna happen. I know it's not gonna happen. It's selfish stuff. It's, it's selfish, man. We should we bring them into this world and then we bring them in our toxic relationship our, and when they don't get along, we don't get along. Okay, anymore. beyond even beyond the toxicity, are we even being realistic with them to show them that this is this is real world. This is what happens. This is how you deal with you know these situations. You know, in regards to hey. Mom and dad don't necessarily, we ain't getting along. These kind of things happen in life. This is how you deal with it. I think we do our kids an injustice a lot of times by hiding different stuff from them to the point that, you know, you have created this land of fairy tales and lollipops and everything else and not expose them to real life situations so that they don't have expectations growing up. I got friends right now that because their, their parents hid everything, they thought their parents had the perfect relationship. So their expectations, and they knew what their pops or what, uh, was doing. Just be, give me a buck. They knew what their pops was doing. So now they think that my mom accepted what my pops did. So now I get to go out here and do the same thing my pops did. And my wife's supposed to accept this. And so now their, real, their reality gets shattered when they find out that their wife said, I ain't down for what your mama was down for. <laughs> I'm not about to deal with this, okay. and so I think we we do a, a disservice and injustice to the kids. I think it's a double when we just sword. when we just you know whitewash everything, and every time they come around, they don't see. And I'm not saying that you should be tearing the house up and tearing the house down in front of them, but they should also understand that conflicts do happen in the house, and what you should be able to show them is how to come to a resolution of it without how it many, being. I, I mean, you know, I mean, do that. I mean, do that. Well, what what's the numbers again, Colin? The divorce rate. Seventy <laughs> percent right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, of divorce rate amongst Afro Americans. You yeah. know, sixty five percent across uh, the board. Well, a lot of that is the yeah, American I mean, government too. And, and I think it's a double edged sword <sighs> because um, you said they kept them. You know, some of them sheltered. I just still feel like that they didn't ask for this, man. And we're supposed to be mature enough to. And don't get me wrong, I'm I'm a, I'm a victim of doing it myself. Okay, but. We should have stayed in there, hung in there, because what happens again, the reality, 
of whether you go through the system or not of the child support, this guy has still got to work a second job. So now he's a part-time dad. Mama is working a second shift job because it's never enough money to it's never enough money to take care of children. I don't care what the child support numbers. It's just never enough money. So guess what? And 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 these girls who these women's lives, even your own child's life, are you your child's friend? Never. Yeah, hell no. Never. Never been my children's friends. They know hell that. No. They know that no. you are you friend. Hell no. Okay. 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 Hell no. Now and they know it exactly. Exactly. I, I think as they get older, you can do more things together. Together. You know what I'm saying? Um, and mo have more of a collaborative relationship. But when they're in those developmental years, no, that's not even that's not even a question. <laughs> Man, if my child get fifty and I'm seventy, we not smoking no weed. No, <laughs> you're not having no dreams. You're not doing it. I'm not, <coughs> not doing it. I'm just not doing it. Okay. I mean, okay. You, 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 I might take a shot with them, but then they gotta go, or I'm going the other way. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. I'm not partying with you. you no. Know, you, you're not my equal, player. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. You, you, you're not okay. my equal. Okay. You know, it, it's the status quo. I, I earned these stripes. So, and and, and I'm gonna just give y'all a different lens. My my daughters, well, so my daughters are 30. I have 33 year old twins, and then my youngest is 21. So there's more things that I will do from a celebratory perspective with my older daughters because I know they can handle it. I think a lot of it has to do with the maturity of the children, right? Yeah. If this is something that's gonna take my 21 year old down the path that I know she might not come back from, we're not doing that. My 33 year olds, guess what? They're set, they're secure, they're 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 mature, you know what I'm saying? So if we sit down and, and, and drink a bottle of wine or something together, that's just us talking because they're adults now, you know what I'm saying? And guess what? I feel as a father, I've instilled enough in them to make good, sound decisions, even when dads know where to And that's the thing you have to you you have to be okay with mm -hmm. to know that you put enough into your children mm -hmm. that they're gonna make the right decision for themselves, okay. not the right decision for you, right? But for themselves, and that's the problem we we come across in in society today. Not mm -hmm. enough of us are putting enough into our children, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, to know. That they're going to make the right decision for themselves. Okay. Now, now in doing so, there's going to be some lumps and bumps that come on up that yeah. way, and yeah. we know that. We, we, you know, it's like I, I go, I talk about my mom a lot because that's my heart. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. I'm a mama's boy. Okay. He did, didn't know I was a mama's boy till till I was a mama's boy. When I, when I finally figured it out, I'm like, dang, this one was crying about me every day, okay. and I was wondering why she's so, you know. But I figured it out, like, dang, she was worried about somebody doing something to me. But I was the one in the streets, like, hey, they, they go tell you, ain't nobody gonna mess with him. But then I turned around and I thought about those things. I said, man, I'm breaking this woman's heart. Okay. But I didn't want nobody to break my mother's heart. So why am I breaking her heart? So I don't want to break nobody else's mama's heart. Right. So that, when it, when it comes down to these levels of these different women and these different babies and things like that, I, I just think about. Hey, how how would I want my mom to have been treated? Yeah, but and you, you had to get there. Though. I had to get you there. Had to get it, 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 was, it was a process. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a process. It took it took a long time, but yeah. I got there. You, you got there, and and so if we if we go all the way back to the original topic, you know, I mean, a lot of people made decisions, bad decisions, when they was younger, right? And so a lot of the the the, the multiple children. Um, we don't typically see that at an age group over 30. That's usually within that, that 16 to, to 25 to 26 range, somewhere around there, where you're out there, what you call enjoying life. And guess what? You can't just knock the females because guys doing it too. No, for you sure. know what I'm saying? And so, yeah. you know, we can't just say, you know, a, a woman with multiple children. I mean, females ask the question, well, what about us? And meeting these, you know, these dudes that got like six baby mamas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that, that in itself, you all, and this is where it goes back to the rearing. It goes back to the intent. We have to teach our, our young people to make good, sound decisions. You know what I'm saying? Prayerfully, they will. But I know I didn't. I, I had twins when I was 20 years old. I should have been doing something else. You know what I'm saying? But I thank God. Um, that I had enough sense to try to do what was right. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let's be honest. If we all just be real with ourselves, we've done some dumb shit in our early years. You know what I'm saying? And the generations coming behind us, they're going to continue to do it until we start dealing with these systemic, you know, 
issues, generational curses, which is we might as well write that down. Yeah, that's a whole another conversation, yeah, right? Conversation. And, but and that's um, a that's that's a um, that's an excellent point uh, because life is about stages and phases of your life. Man, that's my word right there. And bro. when you in in our era, mm -hmm. you know, it was our era, whereas. And I'm not, I'm not condoning, I'm just showing an era where when men were kind of roughhousing their women, and even if the police came, they put his arm around her and say, we okay. Mm -hmm. And the police would go about their way because they probably had to deal with it at their own home. Mm -hmm. But it was that era where that man that made enough money had two families, one on this side of town, one on that side of town. It was just that era, like if we come out of the, you know, the Roman days, and, you know, as we just keep evolving as people, Mm -hmm. You know, we're we're probably the last generation. We're probably the we're probably the first generation to hug our kids. Okay. And we're probably the the first generation to go to the doctor on a regular basis. Okay. You know, our grandfathers, they great grandfathers, they they didn't go to the doctor unless it was, you know, dying. Yes. <laughs> really <laughs> falling over. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. And so. I think we can change with the times, but I think the fundamental principles have to, they have to remain. You have to have a solid foundation, and that foundation is integrity and, um, and honesty. And when you see, as a parent, when you see that your child is a liar, then you got to put a little more work. I think all kids can be in first place. They just got to be in their own lane. And we, we're guilty of looking the other way. We know this child may have some difficulties, whatever. Right. So now you know your child got difficulties, now you're gonna bring a man in here. Right, right, right. With his set of philosophies, his set of rules and laws. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they wanna bring a man bring a man in to try to fix it, but you oh, can't, you know. They stay in the way. When you, get, when you get down the road, I'm, that's just my opinion. When you get down the road too far with kids, I'm talking about an age. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's difficult. Now nah, I'm stepping into the situation. Of of a thirteen, fourteen, fifteen year old kid, mm -hmm. and I'm now I'm trying to instill discipline. That just is, it, man. You might as well try to go outside, crush a rock, and make a diamond. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm just saying, yeah, crush yeah. a piece of coal and make a diamond. But I mean, that's that's, you know, it's a difficult task, and I think it's unfair to put any man into into that situation. And and while I'm saying that, it's like I don't think that I don't see too many situations. I put it this way. Where even if I got as a man, mm -hmm. say you got three kids out there, same scenario, three different baby mamas, three kids. All right. If you get with a fourth, if you get with a fourth woman, is that fourth woman affected the way you would be affected walking in the house with a woman with three baby daddies and all the kids in the same house? Or or do men independently end up still taking care of? They mama number one, two, and three, independently. As they should. And the kids. As mm -hmm. they should. As they should. As opposed to stepping in a household with a woman who's got four kids in the house and four baby daddies. And a lot of kids are jilted like that. They, a lot of kids are upset and, and because daddy's not spending no more time with them as much as he like because he got a new family. Yeah. A lot of kids are really messed up behind that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and a lot, a lot of that situation, but and a lot of that situation too comes back to the emotional, the ability to have emotional restraint of the woman. It comes down to a set of principles. Bottom line, what's 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 your core value? What's the core value of of the of, of the two people? And then, again, it goes back to having that conversation. Yeah. And and this 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 conversation should be had way before we for. I meet her kids or she meets my kids. And and, and But and, we have sex before that. But that's your issue. Yeah, but, well, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's between that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying we have sex. If we if we turn around and sit down and deal with a woman for ninety, a hundred and twenty days without entering her universe, she probably won't like me and I probably won't like her. Okay, now I'm, okay. I'm a, I'm a, we gonna we gonna wind this down, and this is what I want. I want everybody to do this. This your age now. I want to talk. I want you to talk to your 25 year old self, or 20, 24, 25 year old self, and what would you end up telling that man or that young man <laughs> for what you know now? When it comes to the specifically as it comes to relationships and women. 
Run. <laughs> Run, man. You said, you, said, you said what your mom said, no, but like, man. So what, what, you go, what would you actually say? What, what solid core advice would you put out there? My mom said, don't ever lay down with nobody you don't want to marry. And I was like, Mom, what are you talking about? Don't I, don't I have to love a girl? She's like, no, because if you get her pregnant, you got to marry her. And in her own kind of way, she was just saying, you got to be responsible. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I would tell. I would go back and tell. Well, I didn't have my first kid until I was 28. So in the inner city, I was hot. Yes. <laughs> you know, I, I played basketball with my friends' kids. You know, they had their kids 17, 18. They, and I'm only 5'7. They the same height as me. I'm 11 years old. So, uh, yeah, it definitely comes back to um, uh, I, would, I would be. And even at 28, um, that was, I don't want to say the word mistake, but it wasn't planned. Mm -hmm. Because it's, uh, you know. So I, 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 I did listen to a certain degree, but after that, I got happy and, you know, I had a second and I had a third. Um, no, I would go back and tell that young man to see the world, yeah. um, be respectful, um, protect yourself, wear a jimmy. Yeah. Talk to your 25 year old self. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Respect yourself. Remember where you come from. Strap on. Big time. Big time. I would, nope. I would tell my 25 year old self, remember all the things that your mom told you. And the same way that you treat her should be how you treat other females. Yep. And unfortunately, at 25, Lo didn't understand that. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought that the way to maneuver in life is to do what you've been exposed to. And if all of us was to, to, to pull the veil back and be transparent, a lot of what we did was because of what we was exposed to. Exposed to. Our environment. Our environment. So I'm not even my, about my, to get my brother, into that. My, my, brother, my brother spoke on that about me one time. He, he was like, man, I, I hated that I ever opened up Pandora's box to you. Yeah. He yeah. said, because you took me to another level I wasn't expecting. Okay. And, and you know, but my, my oldest sister, she she was telling she was telling just this past Thanksgiving, she said Terry just wanted to please his older brothers. Okay. And I I had a, I had a, I have a brother, I have three brothers. They're all older than me, but I had one one particular brother, who you know I kind of looked like when growing up, but I, I I mimicked everything he did. Okay. And but I took it to a, a <laughs> an extreme level. Okay. And you know if if like you said. You know, expound on what you said. If I could, if I could really talk to T. Jones, I didn't really get a chance to think about because I'm still in deep thought about that. I, and I would sit down and talk, have that conversation with him that my mother tried to have with me, and she was. I was fearful. Uh, I'm fearful of T. Jones at 25. Yeah. You know, yeah. but hey, I'm fearful for your life, boy. You know, and 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 treat women the way you would treat your mom. My mom was a gem. Man. Yeah, yeah. My mom was a lady. Yeah, and right. that's what I expect from from this day forward. Period. Anybody in my life, if you ain't a lady, bye. Yeah, right. But so come on, Eek, tell us what right. you would say your twenty five year old self, brother. My twenty five year old self. First thing I say, stop being a freak. <laughs> Strap up. <laughs> okay. Leave all these women alone. Slow your ass. Down. That's just a period. Point blank. Slow down. Okay. You know, try to get yourself really established. Get yourself solidly founded. Get your foundation set really good. Then you can worry about the rest. You already got the core values that you need, but you're a freak. You need to sit your ass down somewhere and quit doing all this crap that got everybody chasing you all over the city. That's what your problem is. And now you got all these women messing around with you because you ain't got your stuff together. You should have had your stuff together. Now chill. That's what I would say. That's what you would say. Okay. That's what I, that's what okay. I would say. Okay. So I put it on the table. I put it on the table. Okay. So like, what's the next step? So I, I appreciate. I appreciate. You know, we gonna shut it down. Shut it down. I, I appreciate the fellas coming here today, and this was putting it on the table. You know, if you guys enjoyed the podcast, we're gonna bring you more content. So like and subscribe. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a link. I didn't drop a bracelet off. That's all right. But thanks for tuning in. Peace out, y'all. Peace. Peace.